All right, y'all. Gonna take a little ride on the Vulcan S. Check it out. It's a new ride. Switch from a Harley to a Kawasaki. It's just a tad different. By tad, I mean a whole lot. It's pretty cool, except for that headlight. I hate that headlight. <laughs> Looks like a heart. Let's go take a little ride down to Kima. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Using this mic for only the second time. See how it does. All right. So this is a 2017 Kawasaki Vulcan 650S. Just got it a couple months ago. I got 654 miles on it, so finally broke it in. Breaking it in was awful. If you go by the uh, the manual, it says don't go over 4,000 RPMs for the first 600 miles. Well, <laughs> six gear, 4,000 4, RPMs is about 52 miles an hour. So you really can't uh, do any real highway riding. So I talked to a, uh, I took the bike in after 100 miles to get an oil change. And uh, I asked the guy about that and uh, he, you know, he's very knowledgeable about motorcycles obviously. And he's like, no, he's like, you can go over 4,000 just don't go over about 80% of your RPMs and don't stay at the same RPM for an extended period of time. So as long as you're constantly, you know, uh, varying your RPMs, you're fine. So that's what I did, but it's still kind of annoying when you're going down the highway and like right now I'm doing about five and a half thousand. Then I let off the throttle, go down to five. And then roll on it again, go up to six. And you're just constantly doing that. It's just a real pain. But so once you hit six, 600, you're good. Just uh, have fun, let it rip. So that's what we're doing now. Right now we're in six gear, doing about 76 miles an hour. It's just under 6,000 RPMs. I tell you what, guys, this, this little bike, it's only 650 cc's. If you're watching this video, you probably know that it's got the same engine as the Ninja 650. So it is very quick, very fast. And all the videos that I've watched about it. Uh, oh, by the way, shout out to uh, the real T Dog, another Vulcan owner here in Houston. Makes some really good videos. Y'all go check out his, uh, his his channel, the real T Dog. D A W G, but uh, I have the same uh, praises and same complaints about the bike that pretty much everyone else does. As far as the praises, uh, and the bike is very fast. looks It looks awesome. It rides really nice. Uh, you know, it's very maneuverable. I mean, you can flickable is. You know, I, I used to have a, a Harley Sportster, and uh, you know, great bike. I love it. I miss it. Traded in to get this one, and uh, but uh, from a engineering standpoint, as far as the the flickability and, and that kind of stuff, this bike's got to be. Oh, hello, Mr. Copper. Fortunately, I'm only doing 68 right now. And uh, the Harley was a, a lot of fun. I'll get into that in a little bit later, but uh, for now on this bike, you know, you see it looks looks good. The tank, the Harley had a 3. Point, I think one or two tank. This is 3.7. So the Harley, I could get a little over 100 miles per tank. This one, I can get about 
uh, about 130, 140, depending on what kind of driving you're doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, the price, th this thing brand new cost me about $5,500. Now, granted, it was a year old. I just got it uh, in, uh, like, March of 18. So it's a 2017, but didn't have any miles on it. But, uh, so I got a great deal. You know, the Harley's brand new for the uh, sports car I had will run you about eight. So cost-wise, that's pretty sweet. Um, and then, uh, you know, it does have the ergo fit. You can adjust the seat, the, the, the pegs, and your seat and your handlebar position. Depending on how, what, uh, your, your your body type, your size, that kind of thing. I'm I'm about 5'10", 160 pounds. I got everything. I got the feet out. I got the mid controls, the mid setting. It's uh, pretty comfortable. Some of the cons. The first con I had was the mirrors. The mirrors were terrible. The mirrors were just these rectangle things up high. And uh, I like a real clean, streamlined look. So I got these handlebar mirrors that you see here. I just put them on. Uh, apparently I didn't tighten them very well. Because <laughs> this thing is pointing at me instead of the road. The wind's pushing it back out, back in, I should say. So I need to tighten that up. Uh, want some wind deflection. And uh, unlike the Harleys, you know, you go on Amazon or any website, and there's a ton of different ways you can things you can buy to customize your Harley this one not a whole lot of stuff and that's I, honestly the accessories are super expensive on the uh, the uh, Vulcan cafe models they had this pretty cool fairing that comes with it and it's lower profile than what I got here I'll talk about that in a second so I was gonna buy it aftermarket is like 350 bucks for the fairing and then like another 150 bucks for the mounting bracket so about 500 bucks and I'm like you gotta be kidding me so I went on Amazon I found this it's Puig P-U-I-G wind, uh, windscreen again it's bigger than I wanted I would prefer it would be about just to like here and uh, this thing with the mounting bracket and everything was about 130 bucks something like that put it on myself it was fairly easy, it took a little bit of time, but it was uh, easy enough and uh, it really does provide a lot of wind deflection, which I like. It, got, it comes in clear and smoke, I got the, the smoke. I wish it was a little bit darker, but what are you gonna do? And uh, yeah, I mean, it works great. I, I, like I said, I, I like kind of the naked look on the front of the bars. So this kind of <laughs> defeats the purpose, but it does provide a lot of wind deflection, which is a good thing on this bike because this bike is very light. You know, the Harley was about 550, 560, uh, 550, 560 pounds. This bike dry, I think is a little under 500. Wet, it's maybe like 510, 520. So, uh, well, that comes into play yeah it's great for flickability but uh if it's a windy day holy cow you're going to uh you're really going to feel the wind uh so having this really helps out quite a bit another difference between this and the harley is the uh the foot controls you know the harley has has the mid foot controls kind of almost like a sports bike whereas this as you can see my feet are out out in front of me which you know I'd never had that before getting used to that took some time every time when I first started riding this bike I was hitting my feet on the street quite a bit because I was looking to put my feet on the pegs they weren't there so starting out from a stop I was hitting the hitting the road quite a bit but uh, it didn't take honestly it didn't take that long to get past that got used to these uh, controls yeah, a week or two I was fine and uh, honestly, it's a comfortable ride having the, your feet up, up front like this. Now, one thing I will say is, you know, you learn that uh, if you're coming up, there's something, an object in the road, 
or a pothole or whatever to stand up on your pegs to kind of absorb the shock well when you have your feet out in front of you like this you really can't stand up you just kind of kind of lift your butt a little bit that's about it so uh so that's one kind of uh negative about the the foot controls out front but they are a lot more comfortable uh as far as that goes another thing i'm not too crazy about this this bike is the seat uh i don't know if i'm just kind of a funky frame size guy but the seat is it's not the most comfortable you know after about an hour and a half to two hours it, it uh it, it, it just kind of sits you kind of funny uh, i don't know how to explain it and uh, i'm not a real big fan of the seat i might need to have a have it adjusted or you know move back like i said it could just be the way that my body type is that the mid-range seat is is not the right one but you know kind of a minor complaint easy dude and uh as far as speed Let's see if we got anybody. Just gonna show you guys this thing. Right now I'm going 70, 70, and to get to uh, 90 to 100, I can get there in just a couple seconds. It's pretty crazy how fast this thing is in six gear. Let me just do it right now. So, oh, hold on. A little too much traffic early this morning to get crazy wait for a more open stretch of road before I roll on that throttle but uh yeah when the bike itself you know it, it's I don't have a lot of complaints I saw this uh one video where this guy was saying that he had this bike for two years and he was selling it and he started out by saying that he loved the bike and then he uh he's like yeah but I'm selling it and uh, it was just kind of weird, you know, because the whole first five minutes of the video, he's just praising the, the motorcycle. And, you know, and again, you probably heard this a million times. This is a, a cruiser bike with, uh, with, with the street bike uh, control, street bike feel, or not feel, but uh, it's like a street bike morphed into a cruiser. And this guy said, you know, Kawasaki got it right and I think they did it's a it's a really cool bike he's like but the thing is you know when you try to make an all-rounder cruiser and street bike because what you get is a lot of average all the way around you're not great at any one thing and, and I think he nailed he nailed it on the head with that comment he's like and because of that it's just it's kind of boring and you know I, I gotta say I, I think that's what it is about this bike it, it, it's I don't get really excited to go riding like I used to on the Harley the Harley you know I, I switched out the, the exhaust advanced and highs I made all kinds of mods to it and, and really made it my own as far as the look and feel and and uh, you know it was, it was just it was an experience where on this one it's almost like it's too uh, it's too perfect if that makes any sense and uh there's just nothing that really gets me really excited about riding this bike other than just you know the fact that you're on a motorcycle and out on the road holy cow it's windy up here so uh but like i said i mean it it, it is a fantastic motorcycle don't get me wrong I just, uh, for whatever reason, I look forward to riding the, the Harley more than I look forward to getting on this bike. Which brings me to the <laughs> really big difference, the sound of this motorcycle. You know, the Harley, again, I, I switched it out, put on a, a blacked out Vanson Hines exhaust, super loud, super throaty, you know, rumbly, the you know, traditional Harley sound was awesome this bike you crank it up it sounds like an angry sewing machine I mean it, it is quiet 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 and uh, 
you know for me i i really buy into the uh the idea that you want to be loud not obnoxious but loud enough where people hear you for safety reasons and uh you know this bike stock is just super quiet like right now you can't hear my exhaust at all you probably hear a lot of wind in my helmet but uh you don't hear any uh any exhaust noise and uh i do miss that you know and that's another thing with, with this kawasaki there's a couple of different uh exhaust mods you can do to, to to give you that louder noise i'm not a fan of those for two reasons one is that they're super expensive uh and they're well three reasons the cost installation is uh, a real pain in the ass you get it not only take off the muffler, but you gotta take off the, I don't even know the right name for it, but the, in front there's these two uh, exhaust pipe things that you gotta take those off, and you know, you gotta take the O2 sensor off, and blah, 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 I mean, just, it's not super difficult, but it is time intensive, and honestly, I don't feel like monkeying with that and messing something up. The other thing is, uh, you know the sound yeah it's, it's louder but it, it's you know again I'm biased coming over from Harley you know I want kind of like a Harley sound and uh, you know I'm, the exhaust that come to mind are like the two brothers that I think it's Delkovic or something like that and uh, there's some other ones and, and uh, they look cool I like the looks of them but uh, the sound is just you know it's just different you know, it, and, and again, admittedly, I'm biased, so it just doesn't appeal to me. So I'm not, I'm not really in a hurry to uh, switch out the exhaust on this thing, just because I don't think for the cost, it's not going to, you know, uh, give me the uh, satisfaction I'm looking for spending that kind of money. So for now, I'm just rolling with the the mad sewing machine. But, uh, again, I know I'm being very critical of, of the bike, uh, but I, I really do like it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, one thing I do need to talk about is the instrument panel on this thing. is is very nice. Uh, again, this is a 17, so I believe this is the first year they actually have the gear indicator. So now you see I'm in six gear. The Harley, all I had was, was a speedometer and the clock. <laughs> No tachometer, no nothing. Uh, so uh, this is nice. I got my, as you can see, my, my tack, speedometer, gear indicator, clock, odometer, and then of course the signals and when you're in neutral and high beam. But this is adjustable. I can push this button right here and switch to the display, fuel range, and that kind of thing. That's the other really nice thing about this bike is uh, I have my, uh, my fuel indicator. You know, the Harley, I didn't have that, so I'd have to, every time I filled up, I'd reset my trip A gauge, and when I, I'd check it every now and again, and when I got to about 100 miles, I would look to fill up. So this one's really nice, because I see how much gas I got. So that is really nice, having that instrument cluster there to uh, see all that, have all that information, especially that gear indicator. You know, you just lose track sometimes, especially when you're like, you know, there's a stretch of, of uh, roads out in West Texas called the Twisted Sisters. That I've ridden about three or four times and, you know, very twisties and, and, uh, and all kinds of uh, different roads out there, very uh, changed in elevation and you're constantly switching gears and, you know, maybe I'm just not as, as good a rider as everybody else, but man, I. I lose track quite a bit of uh, what gear I was in so I went uh, in April of this year to go ride and having that gear indicator was really nice it uh, makes life a lot easier and these mirrors are really ticking me off I know you can see but right here it's just it's the wind keeps blowing them in so I got to probably going to stop here in a second by an allen wrench to tighten this thing up it's driving me nuts you see that one yeah 
pain in the ass. Uh, it's a nice day out here, and uh, gotta get some shout outs. You know, oh, when I was, uh, right before I bought this bike and after I bought this bike, I uh, was watching a lot of YouTube videos about the bike and uh, a lot of guys I saw, like I said, the real T-Dog, much love. Uh, Kill a Cam, he's a, looks like a young kid out in Florida, man. That, that kid, he gets on uh, on his dad's uh, Vulcan constantly, calls a jelly bean, and he's riding all over the place. <laughs> and he's, he's kind of crazy. Unfortunately, he stopped making videos a couple months ago. I don't know what, it sounds like he has some personal issues to deal with, so... Uh, Kill a cam, man. If you watch this, I hope you're doing well, buddy. And uh, the Wanderer, that's that's the guy in, in Australia that I was talking about earlier. And uh, I think uh, Moto Blade. And there's some others that I'm forgetting. Oh, uh, the S Sky Brothers or something. I think there's some Texas boys. They made a lot of cool videos. So uh, yeah, I like to just shout, give shout outs to them for uh, the awesome visit they make. Helping guys like me, you know, make a decision whether or not to buy this bike, and uh, it's just fun to watch you guys ride. Thank you. So, if uh, you're up on my channel, if you want to see the old Harley, get a couple videos of me. Uh, the same ride I'm doing right now, going to Kima, I did on the Harley about two years ago. So, uh, check that out if you want to see what that bike looked like. It's pretty cool. It was a Sportster uh, Iron 883, murdered out. Uh, pretty cool bike. I think you'll like it. Looks odd. Uh, this looks like the. Uh, <laughs> I think the the most applicable comment I got was uh, somebody saw this bike and said it looks like something an Avenger should be riding, <laughs> and it does. <laughs> it's it's cool. Well, again, this is all blacked out. I'm very partial to that look, and uh, but it's a super cool bike. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this one down for now. Probably grab some breakfast, grab an Allen wrench, and uh, I'll uh, sign back on here in a little bit and uh, show you guys what Kima looks like on this Saturday morning. Peace. Gosh, seriously? Mm -hmm. Alright. Heading back home and we did not end up at Kima. We ended up at Home Depot. <laughs> Missed a turn, but I need to get some stuff anyway. Got those Allen wrenches. Hopefully the mirrors will stay put. We'll be all right. It is getting warm. Wow. It's eight in the morning and it's uh, hot. need to get home soon before I melt nice little bike good thing so yeah I was uh, what the hell is that 
box. The plan was to go to Kima, but I uh, <clears throat> was too busy talking about this motorcycle and totally blew by the exit. <laughs> Happens. It's all good. I'm just gonna make a U-turn here. Head back home. I'm out. Whoa. So instead of beautiful Kima, I ended up down here in Pearland and thereabouts. So one thing I didn't talk about earlier was the shifting. And this, uh, this is a totally different shifting experience than uh, on the Harley. Harley, I'd have to let the clutch almost all the way out before I start rolling on the throttle on this bike. I mean, it's like sport bike. I get. I've never ridden a sport bike. I'm just making that assumption, but I just barely let it out. And I'm already rolling on the throttle. It's totally different. It took me forever to get used to that. Had a lot of jerky rides for for a while there. It took it took me a good month to really kind of dial it in <clears throat> but uh it's fine now but yeah that, that took that was really annoying to the point where I wasn't even sure if there's a factory defect or something going on finally I was talking to somebody and they're like yeah that, that bike's totally different so when I finally put two and two together it made it way easier to ride but again it's not that it's worse it's just different Gosh, it's gonna be warm today. So I'm trying this mic out. And I don't know if you guys can hear anything I'm saying. Hopefully you can. If not, I'm just talking to myself a whole bunch for no reason. stretch here I'm gonna show you well I think I can do it right here so right now we're going 74 we just hit 91 right there and so you get an idea of the acceleration on this thing it uh, it goes and it goes quick said it's a uh, I don't know if it's growing on me yet I, mean, I don't dislike it let me be clear on that it's uh, whoops it's just uh, I don't know yeah I tell you what taking those mirrors off and buying these was that that's made a huge improvement in my uh, riding this bike as far as from the fun factor I, I just I cannot those those mirrors are terrible the factor mirrors and like I said I bought some some other mirrors put them on they look better but they're I just having these things up here and right now I'm all janky I got electrical tape covering the holes right now <laughs> you know what I should have bought some more at Lowe's I'll have to do that later but uh yeah, having this open is uh, so much better. It just looks better, and uh, just vision is just better. I tell you, these little handlebar mirrors, I 
I got them like for 13 bucks off Amazon. They were not expensive, easy to install. You just use an Allen wrench to take off the end cap and you just put them in, good to go, and tighten them up. Like I said, I, that's what I just bought an uh, Allen wrench kit or socket. Jeez, uh, can't talk. Set. That's the word I'm looking for. An Allen uh, wrench set and tighten these up and. Yeah, they work great. I mean, I see everything just fine. After tying them up, they're not moving with the wind anymore. I mean, you guys just saw it went 90, and they're still in the same spot. I put them in, so we're good to go there. And, uh, but yeah, so much better. A lot cleaner. And if I just find something to replace this with, or replace this, I should say. It does a good job, but it's just too dang big. I gotta get rid of that headlight too. That headlight, oh, it's terrible. I mean, it, as far as what it does, works fine. But the aesthetics of it, the way it looks, is just terrible. I don't know who put that thing on there, but man, just put a damn square. I don't care, but don't use the heart shape. Are you kidding me? A lot of cops out today. There might be one behind me actually. Can't tell. Looks like one. It's just the Ford truck. We're safe. guys do it where you just sit there and you just talk for an hour <laughs> I guess I just don't have that much to say but uh, you know earlier I was uh, giving shout outs to uh, whoa what the hell was that shout outs to guys that are making their uh, their videos and uh, there's one guy I, God, what's his name he uh, He'd make uh, videos riding his, his Harley, his uh, Iron Smoke, I think was the last name, S-M-O-A-K, S-M-O-A-K, excuse me. I think Sean Smoke, I think that's his name. Somewhere up on the East Coast, but uh, he makes a lot of really cool videos. If, uh, check him out, he, he's really fun to listen to and watch his rides. Oh, and uh, Blockhead. Blockhead started off on an iron, then he, he uh, bought a low rider, and his videos are cool too. Puts a lot of, and he puts a lot of effort into his, from the, uh, producing the videos, pretty cool, so check out Blockhead. For me, you're probably just going to get this video maybe trimmed in the front, trimmed in the back, and that's it. I just don't have the time, patience. To, uh, do all that fancy stuff that those guys he had uh, real tea dog he puts a lot into his videos too pretty cool so check those guys out yeah, unfortunately not giving you guys the most scenic rides based on my missed turn and this is the beautiful Beltway 8 that goes around Houston the land of flat and concrete That's uh, one of the reasons I was trying to go down to Kima because it, it is on the water and 
really nice just different vibe pretty cool boats all that good stuff but uh instead you get an auto zone and a jack-in-the-box and uh a whole lot of concrete and the sun in your face right now which uh probably washing out this gopro a little bit and then to make matters worse you know i hadn't used a gopro in a while and i got up early this morning and hooked everything up hooked the mic up and took me a while to get everything settled and i get on the bike and i'm ready to go and start recording the remote and i press a button it's low battery so i'm having to do everything manually on this camera and uh yeah that's a pain in the ass hopefully this is even recording at all right now <laughs> I can get a reflection. Nope. I guess it looks like it's recording. I looked at my reflection in the tachometer there. I think I saw the red dot blinking. Hopefully. A whole lot of cop cars. You know, speaking of cop cars, I've seen a lot of videos of dudes on sport bikes now running cops. And uh, I gotta tell you guys, just take the ticket. Don't don't go 150 miles an hour through crowded highways. You're 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 just asking for very bad consequences not only for yourself but potentially for others it's just not worth it you know oh my gosh big bump so yeah man just, just take the ticket it, it's not worth it it's not worth your life for a couple hundred bucks it's just not there there's your public service announcement for the day <laughs> I saw this one guy, he was, a video of him being chased by a police helicopter like in Boston or something. And dude was just, I mean, he's, I don't know what kind of bike it was. It's some sport bike that was super fast and he's just hauling ass, weaving in and out of cars and running red lights. And I'm like, man, that is just not smart. It's just not worth it. There's a lot of traffic at 8.13 in the morning on the Beltway. I usually like to use the Beltway because it's a, uh, or to ride on the Beltway. First of all, the roads are a little, little bit better than the highways. And second, nobody wants to pay to get on the tollway, or a lot of people don't. So there's usually not a lot of cars, so it's a safety factor. But today, I guess, yesterday must have been payday or something. There's a lot of freaking people on the tollway today oh my gosh yeah the uh, speaking of those these bumps I'm taking the uh, the suspension of those things it's not bad you know you, you will feel some bumps especially the bigger ones they, they'll jar you but overall the uh, the stock suspension shocks not bad at all they you know the Harley the iron stock uh, shocks are terrible holy cow I mean I'd hit like this little seam right there and it would feel like I was going over freaking mountain it was terrible if you have a Harley and iron and you haven't switched out the, the shocks I'd recommend the progressives they're not that expensive like 300 bucks but it's 300 bucks well spent it made a huge riding improvement uh, as far as the comfort uh, you know the, the these the what I'm the stock uh, suspension on this on this Vulcan is it says pretty good. It's almost comparable to the progressives on the Harley. So 300 bucks I save. A lot 
lot of bikes out today already. If you guys saw it earlier, I think I may have turned off the camera. I was driving behind this trailer. This guy's pulling a trailer with uh, whatever the hell it was. It was a pretty big trailer, and the back tire was, it was one of those that had uh, two sets of tires on each side. And, and uh, the back tire on one side was totally, the rubber was coming off. He was running on his rim. I was trying to tell, trying to communicate to the guy what was going on, but. I don't think he got the picture. Hopefully somebody was able to get his attention. Just show him what was up. Now, could have been very bad. Yeah, these mirrors are staying in place real nice now. Five dollar Allen wrench set fixes the problem. Thank you, Home Depot. just like a granny and a walker here I'm doing 78 and people are just blowing my doors off crazy Like, a, like I'm on a walker with tennis balls. They were just blowing right by me. Pretty sure it's supposed to be the other way around. There, see, this is the, that's the tournament right there to go to Kima. gonna take it back home now because it is gonna get hot real quick and I don't feel like melting look at this man these guys are just all right we're gonna show these people what's up because one thing about this bike is it is fast and this is just unacceptable being past like I'm in a walker with tennis balls all right boys I'm doing 87 and I'm not catching up. <laughs> These guys are in a hurry. See, the problem with going that fast on toys, there are, there are cops everywhere. And they hide in these little, like right when you get these on wraps, and they hide right in the V so you can't see them. And then it's too late. Like right now, I'm doing 75, and those two trucks are just blowing my doors off right now. And I guarantee in the next five minutes, we'll see at least one cop up here. Don't get me wrong, I could catch them very easily, pass them very easily, but I just don't want to because uh, I don't feel like getting a ticket. Yeah, that's that's definitely one thing this bike has going for it, is it is very fast. Fast as I've been on this is a uh, I hit 102 and I was like all right that's good enough but I've seen other vids where uh, guys are going I saw one guy hit 114 so again it's not sport bike fast but for a cruiser it's very fast you, know, you get this riding position the cruising ride position relaxing with speed and quickness not a bad combo
probably just gonna stop talking for a while because I'm just kind of run out of things to talk about to be honest with you but uh, I do have a band so I might throw in uh, one of my songs right here in the video so you can uh, take a listen and uh, enjoy the beautiful sights of Houston Texas Woo! look at that beautiful a part or a hotel lovely just lovely yes I'm being funny here's the tune check it out woke up in a hotel room in Austin YouTube, you want to check it out, or on iTunes, Google Play, blah blah blah, Spotify. No, it is cool. Ask uh, if you have an Alexa, ask her to play the Eric Brenda band and she play some of my songs. Pretty cool. Anyway, I am uh, about to get to the house, so I'm gonna sign off here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys. And uh, y'all be safe. Take care.